Hello, welcome to my garage where I have uh, one of my newest barn finds, I guess. This is an MSI 8048 control computer. Um, if you're not familiar with it, it is, well, it's 8048 based. It has 1K or 2K of RAM. It also has 1K or 2K, well, sorry, it has 1K of uh, erasable PROM. And it has some relays that allowed it to control things. Uh, at one point, I believe it was sold for uh, model railroads. As you can see, this one is taking a little bit of damage with our uh, cover here. So I'll take that off. Have some relays here, another relay here. Um, they're not fully working right now, but uh, let's walk through the basics and the test diagnostic program that's installed on it. As you may have guessed, um, based on the giant ZIF socket sitting there. The original uh, prom for this was missing. So um, the original idea was to take the assembly in the manual, uh, OCR it, and program. Luckily I found someone who had the hex uh, file already from Germany and was able to program this with uh, a consumer programmer. Obviously, this uh, particular EEPROM requires a higher voltage than most, so uh, my usual programmer didn't wouldn't do it, so I had to upgrade. But in any case, this has the official original ROM monitor installed on it. So let's boot it up, such as it is on the system of this age. Uh, it's as you can see here, we're connected off to a power supply, five volt power supply. And uh, one interesting item on this, you can kind of see there's a third pin here for the power connector. It was actually designed, you could actually attach it to a lantern battery as well, a uh, six volt lantern battery, and it would run off that. Has an extra dropping diode in there um, to be able to do that. We're just running off five volts, so. So we are alive. Um, we have our prompt in, in the screen, such as it is. The uh, Self-diagnostic is executed by exec 1D3 and then next enter. So this is an LCD, LCD, <laughs> LED check. Um, it's going to display whichever button we push except for zero which moves on to the next phase. So check that the LEDs are all operating properly. D E F. Okay, so that part's good. The part that isn't so good is this is the RAM check. Um, you can see there we have an error at uh, DFB, and what that's telling us is that uh, it wrote 00 and it got back 04. So I've already swapped the RAM chips around. Um, these are P2104AL-4s. Uh, these are plastic packages. You can see there. Um, so I've already swapped them and so this chip is bad. So I have a quote in to see if I can get some semi-authentic replacements. Otherwise I will just try it with, uh, well, whatever I can find. <laughs> Now this display also indicates when it stops the RAM check, it's waiting for input to test the relays. So the relays are, um, you know, four four relays. Oops. Back out here, four relays and four bits. So to toggle each of them, the recommended pattern is E, C, eight, zero. And you notice zero isn't doing anything. One of our relays is not responding. Similarly, if we try and toggle from F to zero, we're okay. But going the other way, one, three, seven, and F. So that high bit um, relay is not happy with us. So we'll have to test that out and check and see what's going on. But for the moment, it is far more operational than I was expecting given its uh, age and condition. 
uh, see if we can get the RAM replaced. Um, obviously we'll save these chips for uh, anybody who wants them as a restoration. And we'll see why uh, our relay number four is not operational. Thanks for viewing this, uh, well, this little piece of history.